What's up guys and welcome back to Simply Chaotic. Today we have another breaker, Beyond the Doors Booster Packs. Five of them for a dollar plus shipping. And our winner is Brooks. Uh, I don't know your first name, Brooks, but um, I he told me that he is looking for a Tanga Toborn in training. So hopefully we can at least pull that for him, if not something better. Ideally, we really want Tartarek. Um, I mean, at least I want Tartarek because I haven't pulled him in... I've opened probably about, I don't know, like six booster boxes of Beyond the Doors. So it would be really nice if I could open some ultra creature for Brooks and uh, start helping him collect from this set. He says he doesn't have a whole lot from this set, so hopefully we can get something good. Um, I will also be giving away a um, just a pack of cards. I think most of them are from... The Alliance Unraveled series, just kind of some leftover cards that I have from opening so many of those boxes as well. Um, so I'll give a pack of that as well. It's not a pack, it's like four cards or so. Um, but we are about to go live here soon on Instagram to show what we're going to open. Um, and yeah, we'll get into it right now. All right, and we are live. Um uh, Welcome everybody on Instagram to Simply Chaotic. We have a breaker for today and we are opening up these five Beyond the Doors packs. And this is going to Brooks. He is hoping for a Tango Toborn in training. Uh, hopefully we can grab something better than that. Um, hopefully we can at least get an Ultra from one of these packs. We've had some pretty insane luck on the previous packs that we've done in Breaker series. We did a Silent Sands last was it last month, and then before that was a Zenith of the Hive. In both of those, we beat the odds for the super drop rate. We just unfortunately did not get an Ultra. Hopefully, we can recover with an Ultra from these packs. Um, but we will see. Brooks is also getting just a... Uh, a pack of cards from the Lions Unraveled series. Um, so just got a bunch of those because we've opened a ton of them. So we, uh, I went ahead and added that. So we are at nine o'clock right now. And I think we should go ahead and start opening this. Brooks, if he gets on later, um, or if you're just gonna watch it after the fact, uh, I don't see on right now, so we're just going to go ahead and go. All right. So, ideally, we want a Tartarek on in these packs. Um, that's, that's really the card that I've been really wanting to get. I don't know if, Brooks, you're wanting to get that card as well. You said that you didn't have any cards from the set, so I'm assuming that you don't probably have Tartarek. I'm thinking it's three cards I'm going to okay well at least I didn't reveal a an important card so I did create this little stand to try to prevent all these codes from being shown but here we go um so yeah if we could get a Tartarek that'd be awesome really any ultras in this I think Brooks would be pretty happy um if not an ultra we really want at least a Tanga Toborn in training so we have Lie Stone to start. And then we got a Tonal Destruction. Chamber of Waves. Which I think that was in one of the I'm pretty sure that was in the TV show. And that was well. Maybe not. Um it looks really familiar like it looks like the one where they went in and they went like back in time or something maybe that's a different location poison sphere so we're getting close to the rares here should be right after this hive gallery and our first rare is a flaming coals um this is a pretty decent attack card um it does some major damage if you have water and fire but fortunately it's got about three build points which is which is quite a bit Typically try to stay around two. Acreen and let's see if we can get one. Nope, we got fear projection. So we did not get a super out of that set, but we've still got four more packs. Let's 
So I've gotten Lista from this set before on this channel. I've gotten, um, I think Killron. I've gotten him maybe twice on this channel. The one that I've gotten the most that I really hate is Deep Dirge. I've gotten Deep Dirge like three or four times on this channel and it's extremely frustrating. Also, Bodil's Arsenal. I get that one very often in, in these packs, um, which was really cool when I first got it because it was something that was in the TV series. But, you know, after the after the second time, I was like, ah, man, I, I, I have now opened like a thousand dollars of Beyond the Doors booster boxes and uh, did not pull a stinking Tartarek. So prelude of dominance. So here's the parasite token. I know there was some comments on the Discord about some of the packs felt a lot thicker in this Beyond the Door series, and it's because of this parasite token. And I think they also have like a um, depending on what kind of pack it is. Sometimes if somebody like splits open a blister pack, they'll have the sensors still in it, and um, sometimes they that will be like a, a bulge in the pack. So that occasionally happens. Uh, these are only, I want to say that they're either every other pack or they're every like three or four packs. All right, so here we go. And we did get a super, we got uh, Tamagar, which is pretty cool. It's a Muge, so um, we can, let's see if we can get a little closer. So he's got, two uh two mujics um he's got really kind of mediocre stats if not subpar but uh a good muge for your underworld deck if you want it he is unique so you can only use one of them we got ikatosh and we got lystone all right so we got our first super we still got three packs to go Let's do three cards. Try not to reveal any codes. And favorite tribe. Um, I would probably say Overworlders. I really do like Overworlders, but I also like Mepedians a lot too. I really liked the... Um, like the strike, invisibility strike, like invisibility surprise for initi uh, initiative, and then like the extra 15 damage that you do on the initial attack. Um, so I really liked the Mipedian, and I liked the kind of the that series within the first season where they were talking about like, um, oh shoot, who was it? The Muge, uh, Tian. I really, I thought that was, that was my favorite episode for a while, but, um, I would say I really like the Overworlders a lot. Um, and then I guess they're not really a tribe, but like the generic ones too. I recently did a deck on that and, uh, you gotta like them. Obviously they're kind of almost like broken cards cause they have super high health and they have really good stats and they have a ton of mujics. It's, it's pretty ridiculous, but I am not complaining cause they make a really good deck. Dry Liquid. There's Pit Token. This one, you get tons of these from these sets. There's Parasite Token, which we got two in a row. And we got another super. We got uh, Gamior's Hut, which is a location. Uh, initiative Power. Creature you control. Gain Fire. Or fireproof 5. Let's see if I can make sure I don't reveal... If a Mugic or ability would reduce a creature's discipline, that Mugic or ability reduces the discipline by 10 less. And this is a unique, so you can only use one within your deck. So, we got another super. Back to back, there's Omar's Projection, which is pretty cool. Um, you... So, if the creature loses combat, return it to play in an open space on your side of the board with no Mugic counters, which is pretty cool I, I mean you can only do it once obviously but 
you could probably use this for i mean you can use it for two creatures you could, you're limited to two uh, of the same battle gear within a battle play but um that's that's always i forgot i completely forgot about that one that one almost seems kind of like a broken card as well which i mean you can say they're broken but we obviously still use them in the restri unrestricted and i'm pretty sure they used them within the old chaotic um um what was it the i guess the, the battle drones is probably what they call them so favorite creature hmm favorite creature I mean, I always liked like the main creatures. I always liked like Maxor and stuff, but, um, hmm. I, they never made a card for him, but I really liked Mesmar. I thought he was super cool. Um, I think they did like a code version of him, like on the TV series, but I thought Mesmar was really cool. I wish they would have done a card for him. So these are pretty cool. Um, if you do, like, if you set a deck that's specific to, um, like, a, a certain initiative, like, on, on my deck, I did, like, speed. You can do outperform five, which means that um, it deals an additional five damage for any successful speed attack. So, like, if I did the... Um, Progressive Acceleration, I think, is the one that I was using a lot, which did, like, 25 damage. I'd do an additional 5, so I'd do 30. So, those are pretty cool cards um, to add. I do not play Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I, I never did, honestly, growing up. Uh, I, I opened a couple of packs on this channel, but I really had no clue what I was opening. I remember the originals, like the first series. Uh, I remember Blue Eyes, White Dragon was a big card. And then there was like a Muge that was really big. Um, but no, I did not con I did not collect them. I collected Pokemon. Actually, I, I, it makes me really sad, but <laughs> I had a ton of first edition Pokemon cards um, when I was growing up. I mean, I think I had like, like shoebox, like thousands of them, and I'm not really sure where they went, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm sure there's many people that feel that way after the, the spike in the card market. All right, so the last pack, we are hoping for at least a Tangit Toborn in training. We have gotten two super so far. If we get one more, that will be beating the odds. So hopefully we can pull at least one more. I also, I think the drop rate is a lot lower for these packs as compared to like the first three series. But, well, it doesn't look like we got another super. We just got some more rares. This one's a good look, a pretty cool location. I always like the Riverlands. I like the original ability if, it, if you played um, uh, water attacks that you, I think you gain back five energy for every water attack that you play so it's really helpful but that's all we got today so we only pulled two supers today which is a little bit of a bummer but it's better than no supers i have pulled several packs before without a single super um so hopefully brooks let me see if i can grab these cards real quick so we got two Pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, Brooks, this is what you were looking for, and and you're be glad with uh, these cards that you got and fulfilling some of your collection. We will be back for another breaker soon. We have Forge Unity. I don't think I have any Rise of the Oligarchy that are open. I'll probably look to see if I can find some on eBay, and we can do a breaker for that. But the next breaker we're going to do is actually going to be Forge Unity. We'll do it in about a month from now, and it'll be exactly the same way that we did this one. Um, I'll just post on eBay for a dollar plus shipping or whatever, um, and then we'll just go from there just like this one. Um, 
I do have some packs. I, so I got just a, a ridiculous amount of cards. And so I'm trying to get rid of some of them to people that need them. So I'm thinking about putting them on eBay for like like packs of nine that have like three rares in them with the potential of like one super ultra. And I think I was going to post them for like three bucks or something like that. Um, so if you're interested in that, just let me know and I can start doing that. I've sorted out some of the cards that I'm willing to get rid of. Um, but I'm not sure if that's, I don't know. I, I would be, I'm hesitant to, to do something like that. Cause I've seen a bunch of them on eBay and I'm not a huge fan of them because the, obviously the drop rates aren't like a pack, right? It's, it's a little bit sketchy sometimes, but, uh, if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll start making those and putting them on eBay if people want them. Um, but otherwise, we will be back for probably some more chaotic play as well as some openings. I think we haven't done an opening in a while aside from this one. So thanks again for watching. Thanks for everybody that's on here. Uh, looks like I got a question on do you have any news about the show returning? Unfortunately, I do not. Um, I think right now they're still gauging the, uh, um, like the amount of engagement that's on that chaotic channel that has all the episodes. So uh, I would advise everybody to go on there and just <laughs> I want to put it on like replay so that it gets a bunch of different views and stuff like that. Subscribe to the channel. If you have multiple profiles, subscribe to them with all your profiles. Um, that'll help them expedite probably the process and realize that, hey, there's still a huge community out here. Um, but as far as the rest of it, I know that they're still they're still in contact with the old print company um, and they're in the works, but I think things got postponed a little bit with COVID and it's just a really long process to get this started. So I think they're still working on it, but unfortunately that's all the news that I have right now. All right, cool. Uh, well, it was good seeing all you guys and glad that people jumped on and watched this. Uh, we'll be back for more and thanks again for watching.